Hi, welcome back. After months of drought, it's finally started raining again. So that got me thinking. Why don't we make a rain gauge to measure how much rain we're getting? A rain gauge is an instrument used to measure the amount of rain over an area in a specific period of time. It consists of a container, a funnel, and graduated markings. The container must be smooth and have a uniform shape all the way through. The rain gauge is placed in an open area, and when it rains, the funnel collects the water and channels it to the container. The height of the rainfall can then be measured by looking at the graduated markings. The rainfall is measured in millimeters or inches, depending on where you live. If you live in an area that uses the metric system, rainfall will be measured in millimeters. If you live in an area that uses the imperial system, rainfall will be measured in inches. It is assumed that the amount of rain occurring around the container is the same. So the diameter of the container is not that important. However, it should not be too large nor too small. A standard US rain gauge is 8 inches in diameter. One millimeter of measured rainfall is equal to about one liter of rain over a square meter. That's it for the theory, now let's make our own. For this project, we will need one clean and smooth plastic bottle, a compass, one small ruler, an art knife, a marker, scissors, and transparent tape. First, we'll cut off the top. I want a smooth cut, so I'm going to first use my compass and carefully mark around the top of the bottle. Then, I'll use my art knife and carefully cut off the top. Of course, you don't have to be this precise. You can use your scissors to get the job done more quickly. Next, tape the ruler onto the bottle. Alternatively, you could draw the markings yourself with a marker. Finally, take the top of the bottle, flip it around, and insert it into the opening of the bottle. Friction will be enough to keep it together. And there you have it. But before you can start using your rain gauge, there's one last thing to do. Fill your rain gauge with colored water until it reaches the zero mark. This will give your rain gauge some weight so it doesn't get blown over. And it will make sure that you start collecting water from a completely flat surface. All right, now let's test it out. Let's see how much rainfall we get today. So, after eight hours, my rain gauge is showing me that we've had about eight millimeters of rain. Cool, right? Now it's your turn to try. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, please remember to like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell. That's it for our lesson today. Catch you later.